Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. I decided I'm going to kind of revisit my truck loadout video a little bit. Uh, it's a video I posted at the very beginning of the channel where I discuss where I use my deck system along with Milwaukee Packout uh, to help me kind of get my day-to-day -day jobs done. But primarily, my Milwaukee Packout is stored in the back seat of my Super Cab F-150 truck. And primarily back here in my deck system, I just keep tool bags with my power tools and things like that in there or accessories or whatever it might be. But I've had some questions asked of me. In fact, I've been conversating back and forth with Big Megs 44 uh, in the comments section of that video about, well, how well do these actually fit in the drawers or will they even fit in the drawers? I've sent him some pictures with some measurements and things like that, but I decided, you know what? It's gonna be best for me to just actually shoot a video because I've actually had some other people ask me that questions through emails and things like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a video. I'm gonna show you how a Milwaukee toolbox like this one, this is the medium toolbox, how it compares to how well it fits in there compared to the deck box that they actually sell because even though Packout's expensive, the deck box is also $50. Now this one would run to you, I think it's $79.99. But if you're able to pull that out of your drawer and integrate it with your other stuff, if you're strictly Packout, that might be an advantage to you. But again, I'm gonna kinda of change the point of view to looking above the drawer and then I'm gonna show you the options that you might have for using pack out inside the drawers, the negatives, the positives of that, and how that might help you out. But let's go ahead and let's take a look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and get you some measurements of the inside of the drawer. That way, if you're not running pack out and you're just curious of what the dimensions are, and again, this is only for my truck. It's a Super Cab F-150. Uh, so if you've got a truck with a shorter bed, like a Super Crew or a longer bed that's a full-size bed, I think they actually make these in different sizes that act there. It's not like it's just one size that goes in every truck. So you could have more room. You could have less depending upon what your truck is. I'm going to take this tape measure that my wife got me and she actually got it personalized for me. I thought that was a nice touch and I really appreciated that. But let's get an overall depth. And again, these drawers don't come all the way out. That's a safety feature. And I'm not a big fan of it, but I understand that there's a lot of lawyers out there since they're a company. They've got to guard themselves from uh, lawsuits and things like that, from people being uh, not as smart as they should be. But you're looking at 66 inches from all the way in the back to up here to touching this, which is as far as you could bring an organizer, even though you've got a little bit more room right there. And then in here in the bottom, there's a little bit of a, a dip in the very bottom, and that is 12 inches between there. And then as you move up this edge, it gets into where it's 16 and a half inches. And then up here at the very top, you're looking at about 18 inches. So again, that's why it's kind of hard to figure out what exactly will fit in here and what might not because the edges are tapered and they're slanted at an angle. So it's not as easy as I've got this square box. How will it fit? Well, it might fit up here at the top as far as 18 inches. But if you have an 18 inch box, you're not going to be able to fit it down in there all the way because it's going to start hitting as it reaches at the bottom so that's the measurements of the drawer so now let's take a look at the deck box compare that to the milwaukee toolbox and then i'm going to show you the organizers and how well they fit inside the drawers as well so you can compare the deck box to the medium toolbox by milwaukee this is the only one that i have found that you can actually fit in here so if you've got anything bigger than this one and that is the four eight two two eight four two four i'll put a link in the description for that one uh now that any box that's taller than that, you're going to get into. It's not going to make it because of the height of the box. Uh, the width is okay and all sorts of things like that, but it's just that height. So that's the biggest box of Milwaukee Packout that you can actually fit inside of this drawer. Now, the deck box, you can fit three of those in my drawer as far as from front to back if you wanted to, although you wouldn't be able to open them. Any of the ones you put in the back, you know, you wouldn't be able to open those. So it, it kind of becomes to where you'd have to pull everything out from up here, reach back in there and get that out. So I wouldn't suggest putting boxes back there unless it's a tool that you're only going to get out once in a while that you know that I, I need it with me sometimes, but it's very rare that I need to get it out. I'm not going to get it out every single day. Then that might would be all right. But let me show you how the deck box fits in there. And then I'll show you how the Milwaukee box fits in there as well. So when you look at how this deck box fits in there, it's it's basically the best box that you could possibly get because of course they made it to fit these drawers as far as the height of it. I'm not gonna lose any height. I'm also not losing anything on the sides. So any other box you put in here that you know has a little bit of room on the left or a little bit of room on the right, or it's a little bit lower, that's some cubic inches that you're gonna lose that space because you know there's might not be anything that you can stick 
in that space to use that. So that's the one advantage to the deck box. But of course, if you're running pack out system and you want to be able to use your other organizers and you want to be able to grab this out, snap stuff onto it, then that's the advantage of going with pack out. This one you can take out. It's got a handle. You can take it out, take it into the job site if you want to. I don't personally use mine for that. It's more of a keep things from rattling around in my drawer. But again, you could fit up to three of these inside of my drawer at the length that the drawers are. I could push one all the way back up and underneath there and then do another one and another one and that would fit. So now let's take a look at the pack out toolbox. Now let's check out the Milwaukee pack out toolbox. Again, this fits in there extremely well as far as it doesn't wiggle around much. And actually it fits in exactly to where if you put it in towards the front, the edge of it hits that little nub right there and that keeps it from moving back and forth. Uh, but again, as I mentioned with a pack out, you're gonna have a little bit of room here, a little bit of room here. You're gonna lose a few inches of height that the deck box fills up. Now, if you wanted to store stuff like how I store it in my deck box, I would probably just leave it unsnapped like this to where I can easily just open and close it, grab stuff, you know, shut my drawer. If you're actually going to store tools in there that you're going to pull this out and take it into the job with you, you know, you could just leave it snapped up, grab it by the handle, pull it out and take it in. I probably wouldn't store these in my toolbox, but you could fit two of these in this drawer. You can't fit three like you can the deck box because it's a little bit wider. And again, that's in my drawer, might not be in yours. You just have to take the measurements and see how that works out. But height wise, it fits, width wise, it fits. So you could fit up to four of these in your whole system. But as, as you have two of these in there, you're still gonna have a little bit of room left over because it's way big enough for two, but it's not big enough for three. So you're gonna be able to fit two of these and then a little bit more room for something else if you want to. So when it comes to the slim packed out organizers, it's almost as if Milwaukee and Deck to work together to decide where to put these, which what those are, are slots for dividers that Deck sells that you can actually divide your drawer up if you want to. I don't have any of those. Uh, they actually don't have very good reviews. People say they pop up and down, but again, that's hearsay for me. I don't own them, I don't know. But as far as when you stick one of these in there in between those tabs, uh, you can see it fits extremely well. It makes it to where that little pack out's not gonna slide around in your drawer. So it fits tight this way. It also fits tight that way, but there's a downside to that. Uh, whenever I go to grab my next pack out and stick it on here, I don't have enough room to put it in and snap it back and put it into place because the, in order to do that, my next pack out is going to be outside the drawer to make that happen. I can take it and set it on top, but I don't have enough room to get that to lock into place. So in order to to fix that, you basically always have to put your stack together outside of the drawer, click it into place, and then put that in. Uh, not a big deal, but it, it kind of would be nicer if you didn't have to, but it's not a big deal. You know, just pull up all these, get the one you want, and then, you know, put it back, whatever you're not using. Uh, so I'm just letting you know, that's one thing that I did notice, but it does, it is crazy how well they fit in there. They just don't, they fit in there too well that it makes the function of snapping them together obsolete. Now, as far as how many I can fit in here, you know, I've got two there. I still got a little bit of room. If I add a third one, lock that in, that's still going, but I'm, I'm getting really close. I don't have enough room for a fourth one. So as far as how many of these you could stack up in your drawer, you can fit three of the slim profile organizers, or you could take out two of these and use one of the medium size. That fits in there as well. I've already tried that because that's the, basically the same size as to your slim so that your stacks even out. So in this drawer, you know, I've got one, two, three, four slots between those things. I could fit 12 of these slim profile organizers and still have room in the back. Now in the back, there aren't any of these divider things that would help hold stuff in place. So you could probably at least fit, you know, two more stacks back there, but they're going to move around a little bit because there's nothing there's no little tabs to keep those uh, in place. So now, what about that double organizer? How's that gonna fit in here? Let's check that out. So the double organizer will not lay in there flat unless you have the handle in between two of these spaces because that's kind of like your slim. That's how wide that is. So then it makes it to where you can only put those in certain locations as far as if you stick that in there first uh, in order to make it fit flat. Now you can stick it in here in some other way and it would fit and you could probably stack at least two of them this way. 
and they would you just be losing some space underneath because it's at an angle but in order to get that to sit flat you've got to have that handle between those two spaces or you got to go in here and you got to modify your deck drawers and cut these out but here's a thing that you can do if you want these to fit in well from the get-go so if you put two singles on the bottom of your double but again you've got to do this outside of your drawer you can't just do it inside the drawer because you don't have enough room you can then put that in between those tabs it all sits flat because it raises this double up above those so it's no longer in the way so again that looks like to me that fits extremely well so here i have two singles i have a double and then two more singles and you can see they fit in there great uh, but again i can't get any of them out without taking out that whole stack so that could be a deal breaker for you uh, let me know in the comments what you think about that i wouldn't want to have to pull out this whole entire thing right here that's going to be a lot of weight so my personal opinion would be if i was going to use organizers in a deck system that was going to be pack out i would only do the singles and i would do single stacks in between these rows right here and then you could even put one stack in one row and another stack in another row and then that would serve as a divider basically you'd have a space between those organizers that you could store something else loose and you wouldn't have to worry about it flying around inside your drawer and things like that but again guys that's the deck system with milwaukee pack out does it fit i guess my answer would be yes kind of it depends on what boxes you use obviously depends on whether it's a deal breaker for you that you've got to pull them out a whole stack at a time but i just wanted to give you the answer to that question and also i'm probably going to shift some of my single organizers back here i think that they fit well enough for me and i think it's a great function and again the fact that i can kind of use them as dividers i think that's going to work out well for me as well so i'm interested to kind of play around with it a little bit so I answered a question for myself in doing this video, uh, so I, I appreciate all the questions because it's going to help me, I think, but I hope that it helps you as well. Let me know in the comments below if you found this useful. Let me know if you've been looking into either A, going to pack out, going to decked, doing a combination of the two, or what it is that you do as far as inside your deck drawers if you have a deck system. What kind of organizers do you use? And also, I'm sure there's other people out there that would like to know if you use like the DeWalt or Rigid Organizers in your box, how well do they fit? Uh, put that in the comments below as well. Hope that you all stay safe and have a blessed day. I'll see you on the next video.